back to another video on my channel. So today's video will be on this acrylic set. So I'll be using CJP Birthday Suit, which is a cover powder. This glitter, which is gold shards from Glitter Planet UK. This glitter, which is a multi-cut, quite fine with some small chunks in it. It's chocolate fudge, also from Glitter Planet UK. I'll be using Betty which is a coloured acrylic from Glam and Glitz. So that's Betty. And then lastly, Crystal Glass, also from CJP. I'm going in with my size 10 brush from CJP. I've sped some of the bits up, I've left some in real time. It's just I had a lot of footage to cut down, so I hope you understand. So I've prepped the nails, I've re removed my client's previous design down to a thin clear base and then I prepped and primed, did all my cuticle work, all that kind of thing and then I infilled with a tiny clear base. So now I'm going in with my design. So I'm going in with that coloured acrylic from Glam and Glitz and as I said in my previous acrylic set of nails that I did on myself, my Christmas ones, I'll leave it in the link, I'll leave a link down below so you can check it out, where I used the mustard colour from Glam and Glitz which is hazel, I found it really grainy to work with, this however, I did this set before I did my own nails, I really enjoyed working with this colour. I know with Glam and Glitz now that you have to work a lot wetter and obviously my core system is CJP and I use their CJP colour acrylics as well and that is a much drier system so it's very dish different to what I'm used to but I'm getting the hang of it slowly but surely um, so bear with me if my application is a little bit off when using these coloured acrylics because I'm getting used to them, it's, it's a little bit different. But yeah, on the baby finger, I just applied quite a sheer wash of that Betty. It's a really pigmented colour, so you only need a thin layer because I will be going in with a chrome powder once I've capped in clear anyway, so you won't really see the underneath. And then on the next finger that I'm working on now, I've applied birthday suit at the cuticle area and faded down, gone in, in with Betty at the tip and blend it up. And then I'm just going in with a bit of that chocolate fudge glitter from Glitter Planet UK and applying it in that centre portion of the nail, slightly on a diagonal. I just think that looks really pretty, it kind of elongates the nail when you do things on a diagonal. I really like it and it's a good way if you're not so confident at doing ombres, it's a good way to hide that blend if you're not happy with it but yeah and it just creates a really cool design so on the middle finger I'm going in again with Betty from CJ no I lie from Glam and Glitz and applying that all over the nail I'm sorry I was a little bit out of frame here, my apologies. I just get carried away with doing the nails and I forget to look if I'm in shot or in focus. I'm so sorry. So once I've applied that Betty from Glam and Glitz, all over the nail. I'm now going to go in with a tiny bit of chocolate fudge glitter from Glitter Planet UK and I'm applying it with a small bead. I'm going into my clear acrylic first, picking up a bit of clear and then going into my glitter and picking up a tiny amount of that glitter and applying it in an S shape across the nail, going along the same diagonal way as the previous nail where I placed that glitter. And then I'm literally taking a really tiny bead of clear acrylic and picking up a few, only a few of those gold shards from Glitter Planet UK and placing them really speckledy across where I've just placed the chocolate fudge glitter as well. Just creates quite a nice contrast, it looks quite pretty. So on this finger I'm going in again with Birthday Suit, applying a small bead at the cuticle area and blending down. 
The reason why I like to do this rather than leaving it clear, especially for this set, I just think it warms up the nail bed colour. Sometimes when you just use clear, when you're cold, your nails kind of go like bluey grey and it just doesn't look pretty. So this kind of camouflages any imperfections in the nails as well. And I think it just, this birthday suit goes really nicely, the tone of it goes nicely with Betty, the coloured acrylic from Glam and Glitz. So yeah, I've applied that at the cuticle and faded down and then I'm just taking my chocolate fudge glitter from Glitter Planet UK and placing that at the tip area using a bead of clear acrylic to pick it up and fading up and then going in with those gold shards and placing them on the blend and blending them even further up so it almost covers the nail but it's really sparse right at the top near the cuticle area. Okay, moving on to the thumbnail, I'm just taking that Betty acrylic colour from Glam and Glitz and applying it from the cuticle area, trying to work as wet as I am used to. <laughs> I'm really, really trying. It's very weird working so wet with an acrylic, but they are beautiful. I'm really, really thoroughly enjoying Glam and Glitz. If you haven't tried them, try them. Their, their colours that they have are beautiful and they're so pigmented, it's insane. I do apologise for my hair popping in shot there. I do apologise. So blending that down the nail. I'm not worrying too much about the free edge of the natural nail or the tip of the acrylic nail because I'm going in with glitter now. So I'm taking that chocolate fudge glitter and applying it just where that Betty starts to get a bit more sheer, blending it up into that Betty and then slightly blending it down making sure I'm happy with the placement. Again, slightly on a diagonal, I just find that really flattering, especially for nails that are slightly wider. It elongates them nicely. And then picking up a bead of clear acrylic and going into the gold shards from Glitter Planet UK and applying that from where the chocolate fudge glitter is and blending it down and covering the rest of the end of the nail in gold shards. Okay, now I'm going and clear capping. So I sometimes do the one bead method, I sometimes do it in three beads, it kind of depends. Um, on this baby now, I just used the one bead method because the Glam & Glitz coloured acrylics are strength powders. I don't build up my strength with them, but they are strength powder, so I don't like to waste colours, um, so I go in with just some clear to cap it and create my apex. Because the baby nail was so small, I just used one bead. And if you notice on this finger, I'm using a three bead method. Because there's glitter on that end of the nail, sometimes I find if you do the one bead method and you're pulling that acrylic down the nail, as you pull it down, you've I don't know if any of you find sometimes the glitter shifts down the nail if it's not properly adhered. So I sometimes like to, if I've done glitter on the end of the nail, apply the acrylic directly on top of it and blend down. That way I find it holds it in place and then apply my cuticle bead and create my apex and things like that. So I did this nail in two beads to create the apex as it's slightly bigger. So I've finished the rest of those nails, clear capping, checking my clients happy. And I'm now going into my filing routine. I've left one nail in to show you my filing routine. So I go in with my file and do side wall, side wall and free edge. And then I go in with this tapered cone bit. You can buy, I get all my nail e-file bits from either Todak USA or Nail Supplies um, UK. They're my two suppliers where I get them from. And then after going in with that bit around that cuticle area, I just take my file and refine that cuticle area even more. And then using 
the whole flatness, I don't think that was a word, of my file. I go along the whole entire nail, making sure that my apex is in the right place and then I've got all the shape correct. I flip my client's hand around, check it from the way that she would look at it, go over with a buffing block to get rid of too many of the scratches, go over with my little scrubby brush to get rid of all that dust that sometimes builds up in the cuticle area, and that's them finished filed and ready to go. I then also check with my client that she's happy and make any adjustments according. So I'm now going in with CJP Top Gloss, applying one coat of this just on the baby nail for now and then I'll put that in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds. Going in with my Magpie Dust Molly, this is the Too Faced Holochrome Dust, it's absolutely stunning. So I'm applying that using an eyeshadow applicator. Going in with a duster brush and just getting really rid of any excess chrome dust. And then applying my first coat of the top coat. But I will only be part curing this for 30 seconds as it is a no wipe top coat. It just leaves it a little bit sticky. So that one I go in with my second top coat now. It sticks properly. So I find when I do this, my chrome lasts right until my client comes back for her infill, which is normally around the three week mark. So I'm carrying on, after I've applied my second top coat on that baby now, I'm carrying on and applying my first and only layer of top coat on the rest of the nails because I'm not doing anything extra on them. I don't know about you guys, but I think I've said this before, but this is my favourite bit when it all comes together. It's like a reveal. Oh, I just love it. And that glam and glitz colour with the pairing with the two glitters from Glitter Planet UK, they just go so beautifully together. After I finish top coating the whole hand, I will place in my LED lamp for 60 seconds and that's them all done. Before I put my cuticle oil on and finish my service, I let them cool down for about a minute or two just because if you apply that cuticle oil too soon you will dull the shine. So I've let them rest for a bit and now I'm going in with my cuticle oil and rubbing it all in. And I feel like this is when the whole set of nails comes together. I really hope you enjoyed this Watch Me Work. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. I can't believe it's 2018 now. It's absolutely crazy. I can't wait to do some more sets of nails and get videos up for you guys. I will see you in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!